One of the biggest complaints I get at the beginning of any given book coaching session is I didn't get as much done as I wanted to. And so I can understand that. And I wanted to talk about six characteristics that help you write faster. Now, before I get into those six characteristics, I do want to say that one thing that never helps you write faster is being hard on yourself, putting pressure on yourself, having unrealistic expectations where you think you should write a book in 10 days or something like that. Often, more often than not, writing a book is a little harder than we think it's going to be. And the best thing we can do is start where we are. There are successful writers that write at all sorts of different paces. There are writers who put out, you know, one book a decade, one book every couple of years, you know, three books in one year. So I have worked with clients that write at all different sorts of paces, and they have had a lot of different levels of success. And so don't be hard on yourself about writing too slow. This isn't about, you know, the miracle, get rich quick formula or anything like that. These are just six characteristics that are going to help you support you wherever you are in the writing process. And wherever you are, however fast you write, that's just great. As long as you're being productive and as long as you're going after your dream. So I'll stop with that caveat and let's get into the six characteristics. So characteristic number one is know your next right action. This is something I talk about a lot in the writing group, our community. I'll put the link for that down below, the writer's block community. So we talk about this a lot in that if you know what you're going to do next, that's really the fastest you can go is just having clarity about what your next step forward is. You may want to sketch it out the night before. What will be the most productive thing to move you forward with your book? Do you need to do a little character development? Is there a scene that everything hinges upon that you really need to write out? Are there steps or research that you need to do for your nonfiction book? So we can only go as fast as our next step. So being really clear about that is the first characteristic of getting your book done faster. The second characteristic is breaking those steps down. So this is one reason I think people often say, I didn't get as much done as I wanted to. And that's because they, they had a completely unrealistic expectation of how long it takes to write, of how things were gonna go. Maybe they didn't do enough prep work. That's something that a lot of people overlook. They sit down at a page and they're like, I'm going to write a chapter but you need to think about the chapter. You need to research the chapter. You need to do some development first. So if you find that you created an unrealistic expectation about your next step, just break it down into smaller steps. Really take that under advisement that, wow, this is my pace. This is the work it takes to get stuff done and don't be hard on yourself. So step two is break it down. Step three, create prompts. So I often talk about little questions like, you know, what is my protagonist's emotion at the beginning of this scene? What do they want? What are their fears and desires? You know, maybe their description prompts, maybe they are story prompts or anecdotes. So don't go to the blank page this this kind of connects to your next right action, but you want to create questions, prompts, ideas for yourself to move forward. I'm going to include a journaling workshop below. So if you want some of my prompts that I love to use, I have them right here for you. So you can sign up for that below and I'll send it to your email. So step three is have prompts. Don't just sit down and be like, write the book. Really give yourself little grains of sand, you know, thinking about the pearl, the grain of sand that starts the pearl. Give yourself a little something to start with. And you might want to give yourself options as well. That helps clients a lot when I'm working with book coaching clients. So step number four, 
Look for inspiration. Models are a good thing. When you really admire an author, that's a clue to your own potential. So you can find things about that author that are really going to help you move forward and help you write. We all love different types of books. And so if you're completely confused as to how to lay out a chapter, look at the authors that you really admire. You're not copying them. One great thing is to read so much that you can't possibly copy any one author, but also look at people who have done it before to really give yourself some advice on a successful execution of a chapter. So that is, I'm on step four, look for inspiration. Writers are readers. We don't pull our words and our paragraphs out of a hat. We, we see how other people do it and we learn from them. So step five is keep it fun. Don't be, you know, whipping yourself into action. Have a really fun, you know, hot beverage that you like, that you drink when you're writing. Go to a special writing place where you find that you're really productive. Put on your writing music. Find things that really put you in the mood to write and make it an experience that you crave, that you always want to come back to. That's one of the best uh, things is that if you want to write, you'll write more. If you're always beating yourself up and saying, ah, I'm not getting anything done. This is terrible. Then it's going to be harder and you won't flow as easily. So make it fun. Create a great environment. And then the final thing is just get through that rough draft. It doesn't matter how rough it is. It doesn't matter how bad it is. It's easier to work with a rough draft and it will make you write faster than if you are just really stymied and stuck and you can't think of a way to execute. You don't have to execute perfectly. Execute badly. That's fine. That will make you write faster. If you just do the best you can and then fix it, tweak it later, that actually leads to more productivity and faster writing than being hard on yourself and really torturing yourself on a page. So those are six steps to write faster. I hope they support you and don't pressure you. And if you want some prompts to help you write faster below, I've put in the journaling workshop. It has a motivation workshop and all sorts of great tools to support you and going deeper. So much love. Take some time to write this weekend and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Talk soon.